Good morning, future self. It's not morning. It's like 3 p.m. 4 p.m. I've mostly been not working all day and it's very exciting. The paper went live. The pen, the robot, road, roadmap, robot, blah, blah, blah. Um, the roadmap to pandemic resilience from the Harvard Center, Safford, Harvard, Safford Center for Ethics. We do this live. We got to sleep in. I'm so excited. Yeah, it feels good to have worked on a thing that might have like a huge impact. This weirdo. It's definitely not the kind of thing I would expect to work on, but it was good. Yeah, and then I used my illustrations in her video and I helped with the script for that. And yeah, I don't actually know going forward like what use that will be to anyone. But it seems like every few days someone just chucks a thing at me and I go, okay, I can do that. So. But I haven't had a day off for over two weeks. I'm tired. <laughs> I have no idea if I've been recording in these diaries videos or not. Don't remember. <laughs> we shall see when I go edit. What the heck is even in here? Um, yeah. Quarantine is going amazing. Steve's cooking every very delicious object. I ate cauliflower for breakfast and then I got excited because I worked out and then I got hungry and then it was lunchtime so I got to eat cauliflower again. <laughs> and there's eggplants and there's bajra and there's pork belly, Brussels sprouts and cauliflower. Broth, the broth, the broth snacks is... pandemic so everybody's tired but also I'm tired so. okay future self we're going on an adventure that doesn't involve that motorcycle let's do this We are venturing into the wildernesses of flowers in hopes to be finding a bumblebee. bee. I saw a bunch of bumblebees. bees. Oh, oh, purple. Look at that. Look at that wisteria. Will we find a bumblebee, bee? Or will we just get stabbed in the leg by a blackberry bush? By one of these mambo jambos. Can you even see that? Can you even see that? And over there's the honeysuckles and the roses. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's more roses right there. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fat bumblebee. You are the fattest one. Fat bumblebee. You are the fattest one. What you doing? Oh yeah. Fat Bumblebee. Bee. You are the fattest one. Oh, you're so cool.
Hello, future self. So some friends had this online poetry reading and they invited me to come read a poem. And I read Stein said uh, after a quote of Gertrude Stein's. So I will read it as I go. There's no there there where tearing bears a whiff of fairest parody and shares beget the wit of plainest fame where where there's blame and spreading shame that wears regret the same as rarest clarity there's no there there it was really fun and people seemed to like the dramatic format i used so yeah it was great Hi, Feed Yourself. I'm editing again. I have like seven and a half seconds to myself. <laughs> oh, man, I'm jealous of those empty quarantines. <laughs> I got, I'm working my butts off around here. Um, but I just think it's funny, like, in this clip, I'm talking about like, past self, not being able to figure out the editing and it not working and then like this middle self, the editing self in this clip, like talking about it really working now and everything and then like this self is like, oh no! <laughs> um, now there's just like no time and I haven't had the energy or edit to edit in a while so um, I don't know, I'm in like day maybe 50 or 60 of my quarantine and I'm just now editing um, sort of the countdown to quarantine, so the last week in February, so it's interesting to, to see all of those different stages of myself. <laughs> uh, yeah, um, quarantine is interesting. It is, it is very intense. I'm not even entirely sure how to communicate about it to you future self because I know you won't remember what it's like but um everyone else around you is gonna have this like very touchstone moment around which a lot of their adult lives um sort of revolve and I I'm trying to figure out how to communicate to you the sort of um fear uh and exhaustion and just the way that the world changed um you know like for example right now i miss things like uh going to the grocery store on a whim because you wanted to make something silly um going to the theater i miss like I'm sort of pre-missing the idea of like ever touching another person again who I'm not like very close to. Um, I'm a hugger and that's just never gonna happen again. There's never gonna be a time again when it's like appropriate to hug someone the first time you meet them. Like ever. No shaking hands, always wearing masks. Um, Yeah, so I I know I'm not effectively communicating to you um, what this is like, what quarantine is like, what what the pandemic is like um, from the inside, and I hope that you know there are some other media sources you can turn to for sort of how the the sort of global feeling is, um, and I'll do my best to talk about it. Uh, but yeah, so far I feel like I haven't. I, I have been shutting myself off to you, I guess would be a good way of putting it. Like, not, um, I, um, 
I can choose to hide things from you, um, that other people don't really get that choice to hide things from themselves in the future. And, um, I don't want to be dishonest with you about this time, but I also, um, <laughs> I also don't want to sort of, um, burden you with the trauma of a thing that you could otherwise forget. Um, so I'm struggling with the balance between those two things, between those two choices, because it is an active choice. I have to actively choose to remember. Um, and it's hard to actively choose to remember a thing that is so scary and so overwhelming. Um, and working on the, you know, the roadmap to pandemic resilience with the Harvard Stafford Center and all of my colleagues and like that has been a really amazing project and it really gives me a sense of like um, purpose and control and um, value in myself. Um, I am very useful to this project. Um, so um, if you, future self, um, sort of struggle with the documentation I have left you during this time, um, I just want to say like that's part of why that's part of the struggle is not only do I have zero time um but I also uh I I'm in it and I don't I don't know how to talk to you about it so um <laughs> I'll do my best bye future yourself our beam pile has arrived Steve ordered some experimental new heirloom bean varieties that we have never eaten before from Rancho Gordo. So we're gonna try all these beans. <laughs> So there's a sculpture pile. Okay. So the studio was a disaster and I am feeling, you know, quarantine stress. So I decided we needed new projects to do and areas and things. So I'm putting up this drawing. I'm loving up on this dog who has decided she's too lazy for runs. And I mean, in the meantime of cleaning up the studio, this monstrosity appeared, which I'm so into. So much textures and colors and blobs, pillows. There's, what are these from? Uh, Bed Art Manifesto and Unscannables and, uh, 
Plastic Life or whatever they were called, I don't remember. These are the newspaper paintings all rolled up that I've been working on upstairs. Uh, look inside place. This is this is just a, the only one of its kind. It's like fabric bit. Uh, this is the sculpture that I chopped bits off for the street art piece. This is just the whole the whole situation. It looks good though. I like my little blop. yourself and welcome to depression snacks I am 100% grumps and 0% motivation so I decided what better way to use our agitation and depression but to make wait let me switch you around chocolate cookies mmm look at that mmm look at that mmm chocolate and cornflake crunch nom 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 Pizza, 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 pizza. It's the first time we ordered delivery and I'm very excited about it. 